Hey guys, it's Millie. Happy Sunday as promised. Here is the second review of the day. We are talking a Bath & Body Works candle. I was lucky enough to recently snag this in store. Um, I took Stella to the mall and we did a little pretzel date together and we decided to stop by Bath & Body Works and I was kind of looking just to see if I could smell this candle in person, which <laughs> I wouldn't have really been able to like smell it very well because obviously you're not supposed to take your mask off when you are smelling the candles. Um, so uh, they didn't have it out in my store and this was about, I think a week, I think it was actually just over a week ago that I was in store and I picked this one up. So I had to ask because it was in the back. Apparently this is not supposed to be out until um, around Valentine's Day for their Valentine's Day releases, but the associates there do still remember me. So um, they went ahead and got this one out from the back. So if you don't see it in store yet, um, if you are friendly with your associates, I always think it's worth asking. Um, some will definitely be a little bit more generous than others in terms of getting it out for you. So um, anyway, I got lucky. So I have been burning this for the last week and I'm, I'm, I am almost done with it. I will show you the inside of the candle. We will get there. <laughs> but first I wanted to talk about the scent because it's really delicious. So I'm just gonna grab this down really quickly so I can read the bottom for you. Let me just refresh my memory here. Okay, so the notes on this read sweet wildberry jam, powdered donut, and brown sugar crumble. Okay, so remember those notes. <laughs> um, so here's what I get. First of all, this is a delicious scent. I think this is classic um, gourmand, Bath and Body Works goodness right here. I think they did a great job with the scent overall. I think the packaging is adorable. I think releasing it around Valentine's Day, like all of it just kind of totally jives, right? Um, this smells super, super similar to, um, oh, and now I'm having a brain fart. It's my favorite, berry, uh, berry waffle cone. There we go. <laughs> berry waffle cone. This, the berry note that's in here smells very similar to berry waffle cones, um, berry scent. Now, um, I was talking with a couple of candle people I know, <laughs> namely Kevin from over at NNL on Instagram. And then my friend Brett from uh, the channel Philly Candleman. And, um, I was telling them that I think this has much more of a like wild berry or berry pie type scent to my nose than donut. Um, and Brett was asking me what color lid I had and I mentioned that I have the pink lid and he said he has the gold lid. He says his smells like donut, hands down, there it is donut to him. To me, I don't really get donut with this pink lid. So that's why I left the lid on there for you guys today. Um, there might be a batch variation, which is I think fairly common with Bath & Body Works these days. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm just gonna say that this one right here smells very similar to Berry Waffle Cone, but it definitely doesn't have like that waffle cone note to it. To me, it's more of like a pie crust type note. So this to me smells like a, if you call this wild berry pie, I'd be like, heck yeah, that is spot on. That's what this candle is. Wild berry jam donut, not as much to my nose. That being said, if you like anything that smells food related, if you like anything that has a really beautiful, I would say fairly authentic like berry note, if you liked berry waffle cone, you're gonna love this one. Um, this is one that if they decide to keep this scent around throughout the spring and summer, I could totally see myself repurchasing it at one point. Um, but I do want to get to the burn of this bad boy because that's the only thing that makes me hesitant about buying it again. I feel like you know where this is going. <laughs> so let's just, 
let's just get it down and talk about it. Um, okay, first off, strength and throw, no problems at all. This is a solid eight out of 10 for both strength and throw for me. But I'm gonna show you the usual. Do you guys see that? And here's the thing, I actually cleaned this up. You can see I missed a spot up here. This was actually all completely black. <laughs> So before the video, I wanted to wipe it out a little bit because you could actually see the sooting. You can, yeah, see, you can see it there. You can see the sooting through that opaque pink glass. And I just, I didn't want that to be the first thing that I talked about. So um, I wanted to make sure that I could um, not be distracted by that. So I tried to wipe it out, but couldn't get it. Um, here's the thing, this is a soot monster. My uh, Mary Madeline cookie also looked like this, and it had the same types of wicks as this bad boy does. Do you see those? They're kind of like a tree stump almost. They don't get huge mushroom tops. As you can see, I have not trimmed these wicks. This is just from the last burn. Now, I had this... Ooh, sorry about that. That's probably annoying. Um, I had this one burning... The last time that I had it lit, I had it lit for maybe about three hours and I came back and wasn't paying attention and it was that sooty around the, around the top. So what this says to me is she's obviously a very hot, intense, fast burner. Um, it just says to me, if I'm going to repurchase this in the future, I'm willingly going to be purchasing it to put it in my candle crocs, which I am totally fine with. Um, I don't view using my candle crocs as a waste of a candle per se. I look at it as, okay, there's certain candles that I can burn because they burn a lot more cleanly. Um, and there are certain candles that I just melt. And Bath & Body Works for me tend to be more of the melting candles. Um, yeah, that just that is the way that it is for me going forward. So... I'm okay with it. Um, so I just, I love the scent. I think it's delicious. Do I think that you could recreate it with vendor wax if you are that person? Probably. Um, now that I'm kind of dabbling a little bit into vendor wax, I can see where it would be easy to recreate dupes of Bath & Body Works scents with vendor wax. So um, I can see where that gets to be really fun with vendor wax as well. But that bit, I'm I'm not that, I'm not really that person, I have to admit. <laughs> I'm enjoying what I'm in, you know, getting so far from vendor wax, but for the most part, I'm not gonna be the person to come to for dupes. But this I like, and I will repurchase based on the scent. I am not going to repurchase based on the performance, let's just say that. Um, but I feel like you guys already know that. So um, yeah, there you go. Hopefully, maybe, Hopefully they repackage it and uh, change out these wicks, tweak the formula a little bit because I do think that this is a really delicious scent. And if you are a diehard um, uh, berry waffle cone person, well, I don't know why I always forget the name of that candle. If you're a diehard berry waffle cone, not berry waffle. Is it berry waffle cone? Yeah, it's berry waffle cone. Um, if you like that scent, you're, you're gonna be in hog heaven with this one, so suffice it to say, I think you're gonna be happy with this. Um, anyway, there you guys go, those are my thoughts. Um, overall, she's a great scent, she's very strong, she throws, but she's a sooter, <laughs> so. Uh, she's going to actually go into my candle crock in my filming room here to finish out the rest of her life, and then you'll see her in my empties at the end of the month, which, by the way, hey, that's already next week, right? I think Monday's the 31st. Yeah. Anyway, last full week is next week already. So, all right. Have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will be sure to link, if this is available on the website, I'll link it on the website down below. Um, these are fairy lights. I'm sure most of you know that. And this is the pineapple pan candle pedestal from probably like 2013 or 14. It's She's an old one. It's this one here. There we go. We'll put her on there for you. That guy. Remember her? Him? It? <laughs> yeah. Love this one. Anyway, have a great day, you guys. See you in the next one.